Hey guys, so everything I discuss in this video is sourced directly from the book Good to Great by Jim Collins. This is part of a series of videos where I'll talk about a specific idea from a book I feel is really valuable. In this case, I'm going to talk about the hedgehog concept. Hopefully this will be a good refresher for those of you who already know about it, and a good intro to those who don't. I'll try my best. So in the research, Jim Collins and his team asked if there was any pattern to the one big thing that the good to great companies and their comparisons all followed. All the companies had a strategy that was clear and well articulated, and all the companies in the research invested lots of time into their plans, so that wasn't what distinguished them. What they found in the data was an underlying framework of three intersecting circles for the good to great companies. The people at these companies had a deep understanding of each of these circles and how they overlapped. They then translated these understandings into a simple concept that guided their efforts. Thus, the hedgehog concept. The first circle is what you can be the best in the world at, which also requires that you understand what you cannot be the best in the world at. The second circle is what drives your economic engine. How do we effectively generate and sustain a robust cash flow and profitability? The last circle is what you are deeply passionate about. It's important to note that it's not about trying to create a passion, but rather discovering it. And for many of us, being honest about what that is. So the first circle, the best at circle. This is the thing that you were genetically encoded to do, so to speak. When you're engaged in this endeavor, you're like a fish in water. It's not a goal, intention, or strategy to be the best. The key is in the word understanding. It's an insightful understanding of what you can be the very best at and sticking to it. Because it's not about what you want to be the best at, Everybody wants to be the best. Rather, it's about understanding what you can be the best at, for real. Because doing what you're good at will only make you good, but focusing solely on what you can potentially do better than anyone else or any other organization is the only path to greatness. It's not the same as a core competency. Just because you've been doing something for decades doesn't mean you can be the best at it. In the book, they have a number of examples of what the good to great companies had in this circle. Kroger came to understand that it could become the best at innovative super combination stores. And Wells Fargo understood that it could become the best at running a bank like a business with a focus on the Western United States. The second circle is the economic engine. If you could have one and only one economic denominator, profit per X, what would it be? In the book, they talk about Walgreens and how they switched from profit per store to profit per customer visit. By increasing profits per customer visit, they were able to increase convenience and increase profitability throughout their entire system. Profit per store would have run contrary to the idea of convenience. That said, having a denominator is not the point, especially because you don't necessarily need a single denominator. The important thing here is that the quest for a denominator is what will lead to deeper insight into what drives your economic system. One company had profit per employee, another had profit per economic region, another had profit per classic brand. There is no predetermined right answer for all companies or people. The reason for this is that you have to discover for your own situation and yourself what is the one right denominator that drives your peculiar and specific engine. And the third circle is passion. You have to absolutely love the process for its own sake. You can't manufacture passion or motivate people to feel passion. You can only discover what ignites your passion. You either have it or you don't. The company Gillette made the choice to build sophisticated, relatively expensive shaving products. Rather than fight a low margin battle with disposables. Because they just couldn't get excited about cheap disposable razors. Passion is deep and genuine. And it's an essential part for businesses and individuals to thrive doing what they do. To recap, you need all three circles in order to have a hedgehog concept. So if you make a lot of money doing that which you can never be the best or don't have genetic talent for, you'll only build a successful life, but not necessarily a great one. If you're the best at something, but don't have a passion for it, you'll never remain on top. And if you only have a passion for something, but you can't be the best at it, or it doesn't make economic sense, it'll be a lot of fun, but you won't produce great results. 
Anyway, that's all for this video. And again, everything I've said here is directly from the book. So I highly recommend reading or listening to it. I've got a link to where you can buy it in the description. And remember, this concept and many more can be applied to both business and life. There's some really useful stuff in there. Bye.